That is how you welcome a storyteller, by singing. Okay. A storyteller in my culture, we tell stories at night, in the evening. After having something to eat, we sit down and we tell stories. And because it's dark, we sit around the fireplace. Before I tell you a story, you have to welcome the stories. If I say, Hadithi, Hadithi, you say, Hadithi. Ogoni people lived in Nigeria. Now, the unique thing about Ogoni people is that Ogoni people believed that they were the wisest people on the surface of the earth. One day, one day, two teenage boys sat in their hearts to deceive him. They sat in their hearts to trick him, to make a fool of him in the marketplace and make him look not so wise. The two boys said, we have to think. How do we trick Olodumare? And we'll ask Olodumare. In front of everybody, we'll ask him, Olodumare, is this butterfly dead or alive? Once upon a time, there lived a hunter. When the hunter was born, he gave out such a, a lusty cry. trained how to use their ears to listen to all the sounds of the wilderness, to be trained on how to use their nose, to smell. And he found not one, but two leopard cubs. When the leopard came, he said, this must be a sign. He did not find his two cubs, but she could smell something. She could smell, she could smell the hunter. Haditi, Haditi! Haditi, Joe. Once upon a time, there lived an old woman. This old woman lived at the bottom of a very steep hill. On top of the hill lived her daughter, her only daughter. Her daughter was a great cook. Which creature was this? Tiger. A tiger. And the tiger said, old woman, I'm hungry. And you look good enough to eat. I'm going to eat you for my lunch. What do you think you're going to cook? Pizza. Pizza, pizza. The daughter cooked some pizza. Yes, yes. The daughter cooked pizza. And the daughter also made pumpkin soup. Uh, again. 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 Oh, she said, oh, daughter, can I have some more, please? Here I come, here I come, in my pumpkin, here I come. Again, here I come, here I come, in my pumpkin, here I come. She crashed, she crashed onto the first creature, which was there? Wolf. And the wolf said, Son of Ombari. The tree still exists. It looks like this. And I'm going to tell you the story of that tree called Nyamgondo. And he agonized in pain, in prayers every day. And one day he went out fishing. And he pulled out his net. And he believed he caught something very, very big. Once again, he caught a box, just like the other story. He pulled it in. He opened the box. And guess what was in the box? A wife, yes, was a woman. But ladies and gentlemen, this was the ugliest woman you've ever seen in the world. So the old woman sat down. sat 
by the shores of Lake Namba, Na Madagascar. Madagascar is an island too in Africa. This old woman sat. She was very somber, very sad. She sat down as she remembered when she used to be young. She remembered how she used to be so young. She could climb up, up a mango tree and pick and pick mangoes. Some she'd give to her husband and her children, and some she'd eat herself. She remembered how she used to be so young. She'd get into the water, waist high, and catch fish with bare hands. That's how strong she was. She remembered how she used to be so young. And she used to flew away, flew away, flew away. And the old woman was left alone. The end. No! The story cannot end like that. Yes. We, we, we are just getting into the terms and the twists. Right? Very good. You're following. The story cannot end like that. There's got to be a twist. There's going to be a turn. There's going to be a diversion. Fixed it and crack, whacked it on the wing. Broke its wing again. And the bluebird went, and she picked it up and said, hey, bluebird, I want you to do the same thing you did to that woman. She took the bluebird home and threw at the corner of the house. and took it off, and she dug a hole quickly and put the pumpkin seed and covered it. She didn't sing to it. In the morning when she woke up, she gave it a little morning yellow water. Wow. Yes, she did. But despite all that, the pumpkin still 